Sergio Gianotti. I am a chief engineer with uh, 15 years seagoing experience, and I will be one of the marine engineer new qualification lecturer that I'm here to introduce you today. The new qualification is born from the Operation Pakisa, which is a governative uh, operation to unlock the economic potential of South African oceans. The aim of this operation is to, by the 2033, create one million jobs opportunity and to get 177 billion income for the country. They have invested seven billion in port and infrastructure. Operation Pakisa has six focus area and our qualification will be under marine transport and manufacturing. As you can see from the picture, we have a really large coastal area where there is around about 60,000 ships passing by, but only 20,000 stopping. So the focus of the university will be to create expertise to try and get more ships on our ports. Our new qualification will be a bachelor degree in uh, marine engineering, which will give the students two opportunities. One can be a seafarer opportunity, which will give them the foundation to be a chief engineer or a master. And the other one will be a land-based, which is an engineering as well, but will be marine and naval architecture, with the further possibility then to get honors, master, and PhD. Who are those qualifications? You can, as we said, become this marine engineer, which is the responsible on ship of everything that has to do with engineering. His main, uh, his main objective is the engine room, starting from the construction, the maintenance, and the safety operation. You can see me on top left on one of the cruise line contract and you can see down where we used to work most of the time in a control room, a colleague of mine. The other qualification, as we say, is naval architect, which is professional engineer responsible for the design, construction, and repair of ships. At the moment, Nelson Mandela University will be the only university offering this qualification at undergrad level. This is one example of successful story, it's our Boswell Dose. He has been studying here as marine, as mechanical engineering, and now the university appointed him as another of the marine engineer lecturer. And the Mandela University is sending him to study for his master in naval architecture at the University of Southampton. His research is on this ship here, it's the SS Britannic, and he's researching on the loss of stability of that ship, which is the sister of the well-known Titanic. Upcoming project, we will offer also a ship captain or master degree with the high gear officer in command of the ship, and his responsibility is the safety and the security of the whole ship, the crew, passenger, and the cargo operation. Marine engineers are highly in demand. The university itself spent two years looking for me and had to take me from Italy. There is only five engineer, chief engineer working on land in South Africa and only two in academic. It can offer an excellent pay package entry level so a junior engineer can earn between 25 and 60,000 rand per month to a top of your career, which would be the chief engineer, which can get up to 180,000 per month. Those are a few pictures of the opportunity that you can get as working. You can end up on cargo ship, passenger liner, or oil rigs. If that's the sea going, or you can work on land, as I said, on a ship repair. You can work for various companies well known as Siemens, ABB, and Varsila. At the end, 
university, we also offer this Erasmus Plus program for our students, which we give them the possibility to study and travel with three of our South African university, DUT and CPUT. And a scholars where you run out, which is Portugal University and Satakunta in Finland. With this, I thank you again for joining us today and hope to see some of you in my classes. Thank you.